guys, today's video is going to be for this very easy, feminine, girly, spring makeup look. It's very light and I just really, really like how it turned out. I'm actually using a ton of drugstore products, including the Blushed Nudes from Maybelline. I'm obsessing over this. I think it makes the prettiest springtime look very feminine because all the colors are very blushy and pink toned, but very wearable. All the products that I'm using today, I will list and link down below for you guys in the description box so you can check there for more information. I actually teamed up with Maybelline for this look, which is actually the perfect timing because I just purchased what I feel like is a ton of new Maybelline stuff, so couldn't have come at a perfect time. So what I'm going to do is feature the new Rebel Bloom trend. I'm gonna show you three different lip options at the end of this tutorial so you can let me know which one is your favorite. I feel like when you switch up your lip, you can totally, like just completely change the way that your makeup looks. Super excited about this, so I will link uh, Maybelline's YouTube channel down below, so definitely make sure to check it out. And if you create your own springtime makeup look centered around the Rebel Bloom trend, definitely send me your photos on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram using the hashtag Rebel Bloom. So I hope that you guys enjoy this look, and let's get into it. My mirror is kind of down here. I like to put some of it on and then just buff it in with a brush. And I've been wearing this foundation for probably, I don't know, four years maybe. And I've never done a video on it actually, which I probably should. But yeah, I love it. Really light and great for this time of the year because it doesn't feel heavy. It kind of has like a dewy finish. Um, and it's full coverage, which I love. So I have that all over my face. Go in with my concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Master Concealer. I just like to apply my concealer kind of down and then up, kind of like in a V shape. And then of course, get a little bit closer underneath my eye area. To conceal all the redness and dark circles, if you have any, I usually don't have too bad of like dark circles under my eyes, but I have a ton of redness. Every once in a while, I will have like uh, puffiness under my eyes. I'll put my concealer under my nose. If I'm eating a lot of salty foods, it seems like I'll have like bigger puffs under my eyes. Like, I don't know, it's weird. Set my concealer and my foundation using a translucent powder. I just like to dab it underneath the eye area to take away all of the shininess. The shininess? The shine. Just kind of dust it a little bit everywhere. I have um, pretty oily skin, so my skin will get super shiny again throughout the day. For my eyes, I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow Base. This is in the color Black Orchid. A super pretty, like, mauve -y kind of color. Just going to tap it onto the lid area of my eye. I'm going to be using the Blushed Nudes Eyeshadows today. First thing I'm going to do is pick up this matte, kind of like pinkish, taupey shade. And this is going to go into my crease. Then for all over my lid, I'm going to use this top color. It's kind of like a cranberry like metallic cranberry color. I just think it's super pretty, especially for a springtime look because it has that little bit of pink in it. And I'm just taking a flat shader brush and we're going to put this all over the lid. Deepen up the like outer little V area of my eyes. And I think I'm just going to mix this middle shade right here with the second darkest shade right here. Super pretty. Going to run it underneath my lash line and kind of connect the colors right here. And then for my highlight, I'm going to use the lightest shade in this palette with a fluffy brush. Put it underneath my brow bone. Clean pencil brush to put that same color right in the inner tear duct just to brighten it up a little bit. Next, I'm just going to line my waterline and then just lightly outline the outer half of my upper lash line. And this eyeliner is the Smolder Eye Skinny Smolder Eye the outer half of my upper lash line. I don't like to bring it all the way in towards like my tear duct area. Lash Sensational from Maybelline and this brush is super cool. It's like very, um, it's kind of like curved and I have short lashes so when a mascara wand is curved like this, it kind of just helps push them up and make them look longer. I really, really like this mascara a lot. You guys know if you watched my makeup videos, 
I pretty much only wear the Colossal Volume by Maybelline. That's like my holy grail mascara. I've been wearing it for, I don't even know, five years or six years. Um, but this one is pretty, pretty good. Seems similar, but the wand is totally different. I'm going to fill in the front portion of my brows, which is where the hair really doesn't grow that much. Um, just going to fill it in so it matches the rest of the brow. My brows always look a little dark until I actually put bronzer on um, because my face is so pale. So I'm just going to use a matte bronzer. Then you don't want to forget to also do your neck, especially like under your chin and stuff. The same bronzer and just put it. Actually, this is a contouring brush, not a buffing brush. Put it right. I'm not huge on like contouring. I don't know. I just don't like to put a ton of product on my face to be honest. It's kind of crazy how there's like a million like contouring palettes out nowadays. Like I don't know, I'm just not into it. Are you guys into it? I know some of you will be because they're so popular. Person on YouTube seems to be like buying all of them. And I don't know, I just use my regular bronzer. I don't feel the need to purchase like a super expensive kit that is just for contouring, I don't know. I'm going to be using the new Maybelline Master Matte. It's like a cream blush, a matte cream blush. Now, I don't like to use cream blush products straight onto my cheek like this. I feel like it'll just pick up your foundation and kind of smear it around. So what I like to do when using a cream product is first, first of all, this color is called Rosy Rush. It's really pretty. I think it's gonna go really nice with the bronze color. But what I like to do with any type of cream blush product is first take it and put it onto the back of my hand and warm it up. So just kind of put the product onto the back of your hand. This is super pigmented. You want to take your blush brush. I definitely recommend a stippling brush like this. You're just going to pick up your cream product now onto your blush brush. You can just buff it onto your skin. It looks super natural this way. You're not going to be smearing around that cream product. Wow, this is really pretty. And this is also really great for spring and summer months when it gets a little bit hotter. I feel like something that's a little bit creamier actually stays put better than a powder. Okay, so lastly are the lips. I have three different options that I think would be all beautiful with this um, tutorial. Let me know in the comments below which one you think looks the best with this look. I wore this one, Peach Poppy, I think in my last video, and I also Instagram myself wearing this. Okay, so that is how that looks. I seriously love this color so much. It actually matches my shirt. Um, but I think this like cranberry smoky lid with this peach color is so beautiful for spring. So I kind of don't want to take this off, but I want to show you the other options as well. Next, we're going to go in with Blushing Bud. This is such a beautiful color and one of my favorites from this collection. And it's so creamy and pigmented. It's like a your lips but better, but pinkier kind of color. This lipstick would look good with super natural eyes or very dark black smoky eyes. It's just one of those lipsticks that you need to have in your collection. The last option, which is definitely the boldest color, um, is called Carnation Cabernet. Again, super creamy and glossy. Um, amazing pigmentation on this one. So this one I think is so pretty because it's more of like a berry pink color. And then with the like cranberry eyes, it just makes for a super feminine, girly spring look. And I actually really, really love this combination together. It's reapplied blushing bud because it's just so amazing. Don't forget to let me know if you prefer talking through the video like I did today, or would you just rather have like a fast like voiceover kind of makeup tutorial um, because I want to film videos that you guys prefer watching so let me know which kind of tutorial you like to watch. The products will be listed down below along with Maybelline's YouTube channel so I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I'll see you guys very soon.